Hey guys, it's Melody Lane, and I'm gonna show you something brand new in the Cricut Design Space iOS app. This is the mobile app for iPhones, iPads, iPod, not for Android, only for the iOS app at this time. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Let me show you what's new. So exciting. I do not know if this will be available in the new Design Space 3.0. I don't know when that's gonna be released. I do know this is being released right now. Okay, so I have a tree on my screen. See that? Oh, and it looks brighter when I put my finger down. Okay, I'm gonna hit send to Matt and replace what I have there. Okay, so I have this tree. Looks kind of normal, right? Okay, I'm gonna add more copies. Okay, let's change this. Let's do eight. Okay, and confirm your change. Okay, so now we have six here. And you know you can fit more on there. I am going to click this one, click the little arrow and I can move these closer together. When you move them too close like that, it puts a yellow screen around them. I don't know if you can see that on this one. And I'm gonna move this, move this one up here. So I'm not really showing you guys anything new yet. I will in a second. Okay. Okay, now we have two over here. We know those two can fit on here, right? So we're gonna go to this mat, click the image, and then click this image, hold it down to select them both. They're both selected. I am gonna click this little circle with the three dots. That is new. I can move it to another mat or I can hide it. I'm gonna move it to another mat. <gasps> Look at that. I can choose what mat I wanna put it on. Now, if I move it to like one of the brown mats, it's gonna be cut with the paper I put on the brown mat. So I wanna keep the color. So I'm gonna just put it on this one. So now we just add it up here and I don't know if you can see that clearly. Can you see that now? You see the yellow lines around them? That means they're gonna cut on top of each other and it's not gonna work. So we're going to move these. Okay, just click them so it just selects one at a time so I can move these better. Let's put this one back up here, this one here, and flip this around just to save paper. There. Now we saved all this paper and this entire mat here is empty. And we can do the same thing with these. Or these. All those red dots. Okay, let's say I don't want all these stars to be yellow. Let's grab one, hit the circle. Now let's move it to another mat. We can move it to the red mat. And it adds it there and we can move it anywhere we want. How cool is that? Something else we can do, let's tap it, hit the circle, move to another mat, we can move it to a whole brand new mat. Say there's no color we want it, we wanna make some purple. It brings it to a purple mat. So we can create all new colors. We could add more things to the purple mat. Let me show you something else you can use this for. Let's go back to design. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to mat. Cause I don't want to do all those. Let's say I don't want to, let's say I don't want to use all these mats. I want to do them all on one mat. So I can click here. So I'm putting it on the same mat. And I can move this over. So I could put a yellow piece of paper right up here in the corner and put green paper here. There's nothing on that mat because I took the star away. Okay, now we have this brown one. Let's move that to the same mat. We're also gonna put it on here. So I'm gonna move this one over here, turn it around, there. So when I load my mat, I'm gonna put gold paper here, just up in that corner. I'm gonna put green paper here and I'm gonna put brown paper here on the mat. You can count the squares to see how far you need, how much you need to cover on your mat. Okay, now I just have these two little balls. Let's move those over, because I'm gonna use my scraps. So I'm gonna move the balls down here. So I know 
I can just put the blue paper down here. Let's do the same with the red. Whoops, it's selected on both. There we go. Put red down here. Then we just have these. Or I'll put silver right in the middle. So I know on my mat, I just need like a two inch square here for that. I need like a five and a half by four inch square here and like a six inch by four inch square here. Just a three by three square inch here. I can cut it all on one paper and it was so easy. Now, this is something you could have always done before. But to do this before, you had to go back to your project and you had to change all of this to the same color. I don't like doing that because I like to see the color. And when I have all my pieces cut out, I go back to my canvas to look at it to see what goes where. And if it's all the same color, and if it's all the same color, I get confused. So now this gives me the option to keep it all the different colors and cut out on one mat. I'm so excited. This is awesome. Thank you, Cricut. And thanks everyone for watching. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon that help me bring you these videos. Thanks, guys. Bye. Twyla, Nadine, Jackie, Debbie, Linda, Stacy, Audra, Claudia, Diane, Tammy, Marjorie, Nancy, Mouse Baby, Sean, Tiffany, Debbie, Richanda, Kathy, Elaine, Beth, Tina, Deb, Karen, Jan, Sherry, April, Karen, Diana, Madeline, Shannon, Ruth, Yvonne, Jacqueline, Linda, and Kelly. Thanks, guys. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.